Reports are stating that Tottenham Hotspur Football Club are in talks with a Japanese international centre-back. Spurs would have to pay between £15 and £20 million in compensation if they want to appoint Graham Potter. And reports are also stating that Graham Potter doesn't want to join Spurs as he wants to work at a top four club. Ajax are interested in Tottenham winger Steven Bergvine. And there's lots of speculation about Ben Davis possibly leaving for Napoli this summer. And a former Spurs and England star has come out and said that Spurs would be crazy to let Ben Davis go as he has been a very consistent performer. Welcome back to the channel, hope you're well. In today's video, I'll be going through all of the latest Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. Let's start with a report from the Metro newspaper and they are stating that Tottenham Hotspur are in advanced talks to sign Bologna defender Takiharo Tomiyasu in a £15 million deal despite still not having a new manager in place. Later on in this report, it states that central defence was a big area of concern for Tottenham last season and the club are looking to bolster their back line, having previously been linked with Leon's Joachim Anderson, who impressed on loan at Fulham last season. But the appointment of former Juventus Chief Fabio Paratici as Managing Director of Football has seen a new list of targets drawn up and the Italian transfer guru is ready to raid Serie A to solve Tottenham's issues at the back. And another report has come out from the Sun newspaper and they are stating that Tottenham have begun talks with Bologna to sign the 22-year-old Japan international and are confident of wrapping up a deal for around £15 million. The report for the Metro then states that although Italian side Atalanta had made a move for Tomiyasu, his preference is to play in the Premier League, which has given Spurs the upper hand. And Spurs chairman Daniel Levy had wanted to have a manager in place before announcing any transfer deals this summer. And according to the Sun newspaper, the deal for Tomiyasu should happen shortly, regardless of whether a new man has been installed or not. Tommy Arsu arrived at Bologna in 2019 and has been a consistent and solid performer for this Serie A side, predominantly playing a centre-back and right-back, the two-footed Japanese defender who has already amassed 23 caps for his nation despite his tender years, has particularly thrived on the right-hand side of a back three, uh, potentially hinting at a change of formation for Tottenham. In the last 24 hours, Italian journalist Brizio Romano has provided an update on the Harry Kane situation. Will he be sold to Manchester City this summer? He said Manchester City board considers complicated to sign both Jack Grealish and Harry Kane, Spurs refusing the opening bid. On a later tweet, uh, Fabrizio Romano said Manchester City will make final decision on Jack Grealish and Harry Kane negotiations after the Euros. Both English players are considered top targets, but nothing is happening while they're focusing on Euro 2020. A report was published earlier today by the Daily Mail and they are stating another snub for Tottenham. Brighton boss Graham Potter would turn down the Spurs job as he wants to work at a top four club and it would cost £15 million in compensation to get him. This report states that Brighton manager Graham Potter would reportedly turn down Tottenham if they look to appoint him. And another report out from the Sun newspaper covering this story, Graham Potter is holding out for a job at a top four club as he hoped that he could eventually be approached by the likes of Manchester City and Liverpool. And Graham Potter's contract at Brighton runs until 2025 and the Seagulls would demand compensation of £15 million if he departs. In the report, it states that Graham Potter briefly emerged as a target for Tottenham last week, but the compensation figure makes a deal unlikely. Since his appointment in 2019, Potter has been praised for the work he has done at Brighton, finishing 15th in his first campaign before ending up 16th last season. 
A number of media outlets have covered this story in the last 24 hours. This one is from the Daily Star, and they are stating that Ajax are keen on signing Steven Bergwijn this summer, but Tottenham chief Daniel Levy does not want to see him leave. However, the Spurs chairman has slapped an asking price on the winger and will sell if the right offer arrives. It comes after a difficult start to life in the Premier League from the Netherlands international. When he joined at Tottenham in January 2020, there was a real sense of excitement, especially after a stellar performance against Manchester City, where he scored on his debut. But such moments are found to be replicated with the 23-year-old making just 21 appearances in the Premier League last season. Another publication carrying this story is the Daily Mail, and they are stating that Ajax are pursuing a deal more than anyone else. And uh, Spurs will not let the forward go for anything less than the £27 million they forked out for him a year ago when he became one of Jose Mourinho's first signings. A report has been published by the Daily Star and they are stating that Spurs have dropped their interest in Brighton boss Graham Potter after learning demands over a compensation package, now turning attentions to Belgian boss Roberto Martinez. It then states that the North Londoners were shocked to find out that they would have to pay a whopping £20 million to secure the services of the Seagulls boss and his backroom staff ahead of the new campaign. Graham Potter only signed a six-year deal early last season as Brighton looked to fend off potential interest in their highly regarded coach. In the last week or so, there has been lots of media speculation about the possibility of Ben Davis leaving Tottenham Hotspur Football Club this summer for Italian side Napoli. Well, former Tottenham Hotspur and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider and he believes that Spurs would be absolutely crazy to let the fullback leave. Robinson said it would be crazy to allow a player like Ben Davis to leave when there is no manager in place. There is a very good squad of players at Spurs, but at the end of the day, Maurizio Pochettino and Jose Mourinho could not win a trophy with them. Whichever manager comes in, it is not about picking up where Jose Mourinho left off. This squad needs a rebuild now. They need two new centre-halves for a start. The nucleus of the squad is very good, though, and Ben Davis would fall into that category. He has been an incredibly consistent performer for Spurs over the years. I would not like to see him go before we know who is in charge and what direction they want to go in. Now for an international roundup, many congratulations to Tottenham Hotspur and Denmark midfielder Pierre-Emil Hoybier. He went marching into the quarterfinals of Euro 2020 on Saturday after helping Denmark register a 4-0 victory over Wales in Amsterdam. Today, Toby Alderweireld will be in action for his country, Belgium, as they take on Portugal in Seville. Kick-off 8pm UK time. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you on the next video. Until then, come on you Spurs.